So in this video, we're going to talk about um, acid base equivalents. All right. And so with many times of chemistry, when we're dealing with ions, sometimes the most important thing about ions is the charge of the ions and not necessarily what it is. All right. And so in the video in the past, we talked about one um, EQ or one equivalent, which basically is equal to one mole of a particularly charged ion. All right. And so with acid bases, um, it's very similar because oftentimes we don't really necessarily really care about what the acid base is, but we're specifically talking about, or we really care about the amount of hydrogen ions or hydronium. Okay. That's your acidic portion or the amount of hydroxide ions. And that's what we typically care about. All right. And so thus we could look into, um, the equivalent of an acid, like an acid equivalent or an equivalent of a base. All right. And so much like when we looked at uh, one EQ several videos ago, all right, where one equal EQ is equal to one mole of charged ions, well, we could, we could get, have the same idea here. All right. So if we're talking about, um, one, let me make this red. <laughs> all right. So if you're talking about, um, one e equivalent of an acid is equal to so one equivalent of an acid is equal to one mole of hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions. And if you're talking about one equivalent of a base, we're talking about one mole of hydroxide ions. So this turns out really, really useful in chemistry. Uh, so because it always turns out that um, one equivalent of an acid always neutralizes all right, one EQ, one equivalent of a base. All right, and it turns out this is always the case. And so because this is so useful, um, a chemist typically, I'm gonna center this a little bit. All right, so a chemist typically, um, we usually express these, these acid-base concentrations, these equivalents in what we call, um, normality. All right. Where normality, all right, is equal to the equivalent of an acid or base over liters of solution. All right. So this is a little bit different than molar molarity or molarity. You're looking at the moles of a particular substance divided by liters of solution where normality you're looking at the number of moles of either the hydroxide or hydronium over um, the liters of solution. So let me just kind of give you a quick example. What, what do I mean by this? All right. So like, for example, if you were given 0 0.50 moles of sulfuric acid, okay. So you have 0 0.50 moles of sulfuric acid. This is an acid here. Now, um, if you were to try to figure out what's, um, um, what's, what's the normality of this solution here, one thing you just have to, you have to see when you realize is that for every one mole of sulfuric acid, you have two moles of hydrogen ions. All right. So the amount of hydrogen ions, it's really important. You have to kind of pay attention to that because remember an equivalent of acid is one mole of hydrogen ion. All right. And so in this case we have 1.0. So your moles cancel out. So you have 1.0 moles of hydrogen ions. All right. And so what this simply means also, if you have 1.0 moles of hydrogen ions, you have essentially one equivalent of hydrogen ions or actually 1.0. Let's keep the safe fix the same. You have 1.0 equivalents of hydrogen ions. And so now if you're calculating, um, molarity and let's just assume, all right, that this solution, um, 
is in 1.0 liters of uh, you have 1.0 liters of solution then what's the um, normality right so normality as I said is equal to the equivalent of an acid or a base divided by liters of solution so in this case here we have it that is 1.0 EQ of H plus divided by 1.0 liters of solution so the answer is 1.0 normality all right so that will be the concentration or EQ per liters now a key point that I want to make is that um, the values of a of uh, a monoprotic a monoprotic the the concentration of a monoprotic acid is equal to the the value of the normality of a monoprotic acid and that's simply because they're both looking at just one H and so if you are talking about like uh, you have 0 0.01 concentration of HCl this will also be the molality of HCl because HCl only releases one H. So the concentrations and the normality will still will be exactly the same. All right, but versus if you have something like a diprotic or a triprotic, um, it will be different. All right, and so like for the example, if you use the example we had earlier. If you have 0.1 molar concentration of H2SO4, which is a diprotic, so for every H2SO4, it's going to release two hydrogens, right? Then the normality will actually be two times as much, all right? And that's always the, that's the relationship, okay? If you have like a triprotic, so like for example, um, phosphoric acid, right? If that's, this is its, um, concentration here then the normality will be three times as much okay and so you have to kind of pay attention to um, if it's monoproduct diproduct triproduct especially if you're going from um, molarity to normality all right so let's look at an example here so how many equivalents are in 3.1 grams of this diproduct h2s and the molar mass of H2S is 34 grams per mole. All right, so we're looking for equivalents. So the number of acids or base equivalents is calculated by doing a gram to mole conversion using a molar mass as the conversion factor. Then you multiply the number of hydrogen ions that would be produced. Okay, and so let's look at what we have here. So we see that we have 3.1 grams. All right, and then it tells us what's the molar mass, which is 34. Um, 34 grams per mole. All right, so let's go ahead and start. We start with the three. I don't know why I do that sometimes. All right, so, so we start with the 33.1 grams of H2S. All right, and then we're going to use the molar mass. So we know for every one mole of H2S is 34 grams of H2S. All right, so this way we could cancel out the grams. Now we got it in moles. Now we have to convert it from moles to equivalents. And so now when we're looking at H2S, we see that there's two hydrogens, okay? And so this tells us that um, that for that we will make two moles of hydrogen ions, all right? And so we're gonna show this. So every one mole is of H2S, we make two moles of hydrogen ions, all right? And so this will cancel out the moles of H2S. So when you plug this into the calculator, we get 0 0.18 moles of H2, um, H plus, I'm sorry, of hydrogen ions, or 0 0.18 moles, I mean, not moles, equivalents of hydrogen ions. All right, so let's look at this next example problem. What is the normality of a solution made by diluting 6.5 grams of sulfuric acid to a volume of 200 milliliters? What is the concentration of this solution in milliequivalents per liter? Or normality, really. Um, and so, um, 
And then we also know that the molar mass of H2S is 98.0 grams per mole. All right. And so how are we going to go about doing this? Um, we're just going to we're going to calculate how many equivalents of H2SO4 that we have in 6.5 grams by using the molar mass. And then that's a conversion factor. And then from there, we're going to determine the normality of the acid. All right. So I'm going to highlight what's been given to me. All right. So I can see that start off with this much of H2SO4. All right. That is going to be dissolved into this volume here. And I need to figure out what's my normality. All right, so that's those are the key points that I know I need to address in this problem. All right, so we have 6.5 grams of H2SO4. All right, and so using the molar mass, all right, I'm going to convert this to moles. All right, so I see that for every one mole of H2SO4, it is 98.0 grams. Um, of H2SO4. All right. And so now that I have that, and then remember, we're going to normality. So normality is um, equivalent over um, over um, normality is equivalent, right? Equivalence of how many H's we have. And so we see that there's two H's here. And so um, so I know that for every one mole of H2SO4, all right, I make two moles of H hydrogen ions. All right, so doing this, um, we put this all in the calculator and the units will cancel out accordingly. All right, we get it that um, we have 0 0.132 moles of H plus or we'll say 0.132 equivalents, all right, of, of this acid here, all right? Now, uh, remember, we're looking for normality, all right? And so normality um, is equivalent per a liter of solution. We see that the liter of solution is 200 milliliters, and we need to be in liters so this is 0 0.200 liters. So I'm going to take this number divided by 0 0.22 liters, 0 0.200, I'm sorry, 0 0.200 liters. And then we get that our normality is 0 0.66. All right, that's our normality, okay? Now remember, in this case, normality um, is also equal to equivalence per liter. So we could write 0 0.66 equivalents per liter, all right? And it's also asking for milli equivalents per liter. And so if you multiply this by 1,000, all right, we get that it's zero. Oh, apologize. It'll be 660 milli equivalents per liter. All right, so here are our two answers.